Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Season 6 server. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm doing fantastic. Today is episode 53 and I've got a great episode planned for you. We're going to be time-lapsing the ravine walls and cleaning everything up there. That way, next episode, we can start building our apartment. I've got an, a bunch of other great content planned for you as well. So question of the day for today, would you rather have updated villages with better villagers or would you rather have updated alchemy with better potions, potion mixing and things like that? Let me know down in the comment section below using hashtag question of the day. Personally, I would love to see a change to probably the potions. I like villagers now. Anyways, guys, if you enjoy this series and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Turn on notifications when the videos come out. Let's get into it. All right, guys, I am over in the shopping district to start today's episode off. And I have got to say a massive thank you to somebody. I have this really, really bad habit of going AFK whenever I get distracted. So earlier this morning, I was really, really tired and decided I was going to take a nap before I recorded. So I just kind of left the game standing here. Bad move, I know. I came back, I was dead, no idea where I was. Uh, so I respawned, and somebody was nice enough to actually have collected all of my items and pretty much saved me massively. So whoever you are, mystery person, please let me know. I would love to compensate you handsomely for your, your time and effort of saving my items. Um, now, so what are we doing today? Well, first thing we're going to be doing is we're checking our shops. I need to buy some more rockets. And have we sold anything? We have not sold anything. So I'm going to change this, right? Let's change this to redstone ore shop. And then we're going to change it 64 ore. Oh, God, that's got to be capitalized. Equals one. So we're just going to change it to one diamond. So that means you get double the price or double the double the goodness. So redstone or shop uh, ooh, back to not being able to type again 64 or equals one diamond but yeah so that uh that makes me think like what are some of your guys's bad habits in minecraft uh so we just want some rockets ooh. oh wow i don't have very much space for rockets anyways let's try to get maybe so it's two per stack or two per diamond so there's one two three i think i did that right one two you know what i'll put one more in there just to be safe <laughs> i don't know how many i had so yeah we're kind of refilled there so let's go grab uh anything that we had from the other shops and we'll see i gotta do something about the booty shop man i don't think we've had any sales in a while so we gotta make it we gotta make this thing uh do better man so we got these custom treasure maps with tons of great loot in them oh yeah we're not selling anything shoot we'll figure it out eventually all right, so let's head over to the sweet shop real fast. And we got a bunch of diamonds to break over a stack today. Nobody's even eating my free samples. What the heck, man? All right, we sold one pumpkin set of pumpkin pies. Somebody likes my pie. That's right. That's all that matters. No, I'm joking. Um, yeah, the shops aren't doing that hot right now. But I think the economy on the server is honestly slowing down. I think it is. I really do. So let's put this back. So I've got the comments loaded up from yesterday. And we went caving pretty much all stream yesterday. I wasn't taking the L on the diamonds, by the way. So uh, yesterday was me mining until I found the diamonds I needed. <laughs> so we have all of these to break. And you guys left your comments on yesterday's episode. So we're going to we're gonna get that all settled. We're running out of things to name those, the problem. So we're going to have to figure out something for that. I don't know yet. Let's get this all placed down. We are going to have a diamond fest. So we had 64. I'm going to guess every time we've done at least 64, we've had two stacks, right? So I'm going to say 128 plus uh, 10. So 138 diamonds, I'm going to say. So that'd be two stacks and 10. So let's do this thing. Oh, God, bad break off. Oh, uh, no. OK, I take that back. Every other one, it seems like I've been popping has the multiple fortunes. Wow, that streak right there was really bad. I just want I just want one time where I get nothing befores. Is that too much to ask for? Okay, we'll see what we get. Looking pretty good. There's been multiple fours or threes and fours. We can tell everybody. Here we go. 
Oh, dude, I was so close. 64 and 8. I was off by 2. So 128 uh, plus 8 is uh, 32. Um, I guess it would just be not math on camera. <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, 128 plus 8 is 132. 136 diamonds. So that is quite a bit of diamonds. Let's go ahead and find a name. And so we can... Uh, May name a tool. Okay, we got a name. So the name for this one, and he guessed it pretty fast actually on yesterday's video. Crazy Comedy Kid. Crazy Comedy Kid, congratulations, you are now our leggings. All right, guys, so I want to go ahead and start working on the ravine.
All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed that time lapse of me destroying the walls. I severely underestimated how much sand I was going to need. I have been working on this thing pretty much nonstop since we decided to make the project. And I thought that like just a few shocker boxes would take up everything that I needed. There is so much more space here than I ever anticipated. Um, <clears throat> so tonight's stream, I think is probably most likely going to be us collecting sand for a long time. Um, another thing that I realized was the corners, like even though it's not always going to look straight, this looks fantastic. Uh, one thing I need to do a little bit of a better job on next time, or like if I ever decide to change this, is to make sure that the height of the sandstone follows the height of the ravine. Now, I got kind of lucky because it's, you know, like over there, I kind of caught my mistake. And even there is kind of a mess up. I think this is going to have to probably go like right here and then up and down. I'm trying to find the follow the lines of the ravine. And it's pretty hard. And I apologize for how that time lapse turned out. Uh, I had asked X to give me uh, night vision on my camera account so I could record underwater. And I didn't put a time in and he only gave me 10 minutes. <laughs> So I ran out of time pretty quickly. That's why you see all these lights in here. So, uh, but for the most part, this is turning out good. Um, I'll, I will most likely end up finish, finishing this on stream tonight because I do want to start building our apartment tomorrow. So I've got a lot of cool ideas that I want to throw into the apartment. It's going to be very futuristic, like an office and like lookout windows. And we're going to have like, it's going to be pretty cool, I think. So <laughs> anyways, let's go ahead and move on, guys. All right, guys, I finally decided where I wanted to put my weed farm. So I grabbed our beacon because we're going to need to dig a little bit, but it shouldn't take long with uh, haste too. So right up here is kind of the perfect spot, right? But we have to do just a bit of terraforming first so we know where the entrance is going to be. So let's fly over here and not fly and grab some dirt. I am um, I am about to start taking tax, tax deductions off of the server. <laughs> <laughs> Start sending X bills for my rockets. Uh, that's that would be funny. Anyways, <laughs> so messed up. So I want the entrance to be raised up off the ground a little bit. So this is going to sort of be the food form that's going to power the castle for a while. Put that all right there. Now, I'm sorry, buddy, but today is just not your day. Hold on one second, guys. My sound is like got to be jacked up. There we go. All right, and I think I have sound here. Yeah, uh, sound everywhere. Okay, so I at least want it to come up to maybe this level. It's got to be a little bit higher. I don't know. I just it needs to be elevated. I just feel elevation in this. That right there is perfect. Okay, so from there, this right here is going to be the entrance. So we'll walk in and we might have like the entrance a little bit poked out, but we're going to go down um let's say let's go down like five blocks maybe or just like maybe actually you know what like three blocks would be probably better there we go need some food real fast so i don't die i also don't have any torches with me fantastic guys i am doing stellar today let me let me grab some torches real fast so do i have any in here at all negative do i have any coal all right we've got a little bit of coal so we'll be fine so um when we walk in this is going to be multiple layers deep that's why i have the beacon here by the way so we'll walk in and then i want to actually have access to this entire farm throughout the entire side that's why we need to go deep enough to where it won't matter if uh you know Let's check on the other side real fast just to be sure that it's like all mountain up here because I think there's like some edge. Oh, we should be good. We should be really good, actually. Perfect. Kind of picked the perfect location for this. So you walk in, go down. That's probably deep enough. And then so I'm not sure how big these villager farms can be. Uh, when I saw impulses, his was pretty big. So I'm thinking about making mine. Um, like 16 by 16, like a size of a chunk. I'm not sure if that'll work, but I mean, impulses was like huge. So I'm thinking the chunk size will probably work pretty good for us. And then I want to have like a two wide pathway that goes around the entire outside of it. And then we need to have a staircase somewhere 
that will allow us to get up and down. Um, because I want to have uh, at least three farms. We're going to have wheat, carrots, potatoes. Uh, but I'm thinking about actually probably doing multiple layers of each. Something like this, I think. So I'm not going to worry about the staircase right now. We can always put the staircase in later. There we go. So I think that's going to be a wide enough spot for what we want. I do want this to be three tall, though. So I'm going to go ahead and get working on this off camera just a little bit. I want to kind of build the entrance and try to get a rough size of where everything is going to sit. Okay, guys, so I have got the room kind of shaped up the way I wanted to. Now, when I said 16 by 16, what in the world was I thinking? Five wide. Everything in our base is like pretty much an odd number. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that would have turned out pretty bad. So up here, I have um, a rough opening comes downstairs. And then down here, this is what I've got. So here's the idea, right? I'm going to remove this because I don't want this to be stone brick. This is actually going to be slabs. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove this. So right now we're just going to work on the design a little bit because it's going to take a lot of digging to get this thing kind of filled up the way I want it to. So the villagers, there will be two villagers in each pod, obviously. This will go up to the ceiling. And I want to make this feel very tall. So what we're going to do is we're not going to use any blocks in the fronts. Or not in the front, but we're in any side, really. All we're going to do is we're just going to put glass there. So we'll get rid of this. Something along the lines of this right here. There we go. Hold on a second, guys. All right. So that right there. Uh, well, that's, that's a wild biffa. Hey. From there, we'll use this glass here. So all the way across. Now, I don't think I'm going to have enough to finish that, but... Something like that right there. And then on the, on the floor, I haven't decided what we're going to do for the floor just yet. But I'm going to use probably stone brick for the walls because I want this to have sort of a very kind of castle-y feel to it. And the easiest way to do that is to make it stone brick. Um, just got to like, you know, this is... When I think of this, I think of like an underground farm in a castle that's like made of like these big stone walls, kind of. And that's sort of how I see it. And the server just got real laggy. There we go. We need to figure out what we're going to do for the floor and the ceiling, though. So inside of there, obviously, we'll have all kinds of dirt and our two villagers. We got to figure out what we're going to do for that. Let's go. Let me go and see what blocks I have, because I don't think there's going to be any other blocks that really match that palette very well. Uh, we could use wood. Oh, I never really even thought of that. Um, OK, hold on a second. Let me see. It's kind of hoping that I would have more spruce wood than that. Might have to go get some. Obviously not this second, but I thought that I would have more here. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I think we're going to make the floor and the ceiling spruce, right? That'll match our tower. And at the same time, that also gives us the opportunity to have an easy block to work with for the floor and the ceilings because it has stairs and slabs and stuff. So let's remove all this and just kind of see what it's going to look like a little bit. So you can't go wrong with spruce. Spruce is the best. So this is just a test, right? I'm going to actually use full blocks for when we do this. But we just need to make sure that we have a good design. There we go. I actually really like the way that that looks. I might change the glass, though. I'm not sure if I want to use glass or iron bars. Um, the glass just doesn't seem to really fit that spot very well. I don't really have any other options, though. I could try to make it to where the villagers... Couldn't get out of there. Maybe like have fences or something. That could probably work. Yeah. So definitely, definitely wood for the ceiling and the floor. I like that. We could use that white glass, the white stained glass, but I'm not sure if I like that or not either. Let me think about that for a second. Let's remove the ceiling. So yeah, the only other thing we need to really decide on is where we're going to have the staircase. And I think I'm going to put it in the back. I'm not sure yet. <clears throat> I'm just trying to think, right? Because, like, initially I was going to put it right here to go straight down. I don't think that's going to work very well, though. But I think that 
the spruce on the on these blocks looks very well. I'm gonna fill this in a little bit. I want to get a better view of it. The server is like not doing that hot right now. Okay. So okay, yeah, I am 100% on with the spruce. I really like the way that that looks. Gives it kind of a real kind of like creaky floor look. <laughs> um, the only thing I'm not like I said, the only thing I'm not really settled on is the glass. Huh, you know what? Hold on. I don't have any glass left, but I do have some glass panes. Let's see what that looks like on one of the sides here. Server. Hello. Earth to server. <laughs> it won't let, it wouldn't even let me it won't even let me shoot my rockets right now, guys. Good lord, man. Everything about it's so laggy right now. Definitely not my computer, that's for sure. Alright, one last thing. Let's try it out real fast. And let's just do it over here on this side. And we'll change the floor to make sure we see if we like the look or not. Okay. So bad. Okay. Uh, you know what? I actually really like the way that the slabs look. Let's replace a few of these on the other side here really quickly. My silk touch pick is all but broken. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I think that's what we're going to use. I really like that. Holy crap, that looks good. Awesome. Okay, guys, I think I'm probably going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to see more, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Turn on notifications for when the videos come out. Otherwise, I hope you guys all have a great day. This is iJevin. Peace out.